Hey everyone, Amanda here. So I wanted to update you on my breast reduction journey. And right now, I am currently not going to be um, doing the breast reduction. So I made that decision because um, it had been, first I was supposed to have it in December, on December 10th, um, and then it got postponed to February, and it was tentative on the date, and um, then I found out it was going to be February 17th, and I had been doing, you know, weights and stuff and in this area and you know around and everything I had been gaining muscle things had been you know toning up and stuff and the first two times that I had been fitted I had lost um weight and it had it fit two totally different ways so she had to modify it and I thought well if like you know, two months are going to go by, like two and a half months, um, I could lose, you know, a significant amount of weight and it might not fit properly, like around the shoulders and things like that, because it needs to be tight. And so I called the bra fitter and she agreed that, yeah, it might be a good idea to do that, but the hospital has the garment and um, so I called the hospital to talk to them about that, and that was a bad idea, because I got yelled at by the nurse, and then I got yelled at, well, yelled at and lied to by the nurse, and then yelled at and lied to by the surgeon, and, um, it was a really awkward situation, because they had never talked to me or treated me like that before, and they refused to do another bra fitting. And um, it was just horrible. So um, I, I ended up saying, okay, well, you know what? I am going to think about this and I'll get back to you. And um, I would have reported them right then and there, but I don't know because this is an out-of-state doctor, and I don't know if there's an in-state doctor that does this, because I was referred to this person by my PCP, so I don't, I don't know the answer to that question. So I'm afraid to burn that bridge in case um, I do need this procedure in the future. So luckily I had my appointment with my bariatric surgeon. It was the first appointment that I had. And, you know, we talked about that kind of stuff. And then I told him about what had happened with that. And um, I asked him for his um, medical expertise um, since he's, you know, been through this for so many years. You know, what, what, what does he think? I said, I understand it's my decision, but what do you think is the best course of action? And, you know, he's, he recommended that I wait because you don't know how you're going to lose weight, where you're going to lose weight. And, um, one of the things that the surgeon <clears throat> lied to me about, the breast reduction surgeon, was that, and this is why I was so sure about getting this done, is that she said, um, after you have this surgery, your boobs will, after a year, they will, they will droop. And there's procedures we can do to fix that. And I asked her to her face, I looked her right in the eye, and I said, is this going to cost me out of pocket, or will this be covered by insurance? And she said, well, based on your case this would be considered a medical need or necessity so it would be covered under insurance that's why i said yes that's why i didn't have a problem but then she backtracked on what she said 
So that's why I was so confused as to, well, what do, what do I do now? Oh my goodness, what do I do now? Um, and, you know, he was concerned about the story that I was telling him. And at the end, because he was like typing and things like that, but at the very end, he asked me, and, you know, what is this doctor's name and where does this doctor work? And I told him, and he wasn't typing anymore. He was writing. He was writing. So I don't, I don't know if maybe he reported her. I don't know. I don't know what he did, but he was very concerned with what I told him. Um, and, you know, personally, I'm, I'm disappointed because I am carrying such a large, <laughs> literally two large weights on my chest. And like, I'm sure you can see my shoulders are rolling forward. I'm trying to sit back, you know, I'm trying to sit, you know, like this, but over time, gravity just it takes its toll and I end up moving forward and it it hurts there's a lot of pain so I, I am disappointed in that respect you know it's not it's not easy it really isn't and um it's not exactly what I wanted but you know this is just the way that it's going right now. And, and I, I think I made the right decision. Um, for now, we'll see how things go, but, um, I'm not really happy. You know, I really wanted these things to be smaller so I could manage my body a lot better. Um, but it is what it is, you know. Uh, life isn't always, doesn't always turn out exactly the way you plan it. So you just sometimes have to go with the flow, I suppose. But yeah, that's, that's where I am. So right now, I am focusing on the weight and wellness part of things and exercising and losing weight and toning up and doing all that stuff. So that is what I'm doing, you know, going to groups and, you know, doing all the stuff that they um, want you to do and creating a, a new healthy lifestyle for myself, which I am learning and doing and, um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's coming together. It's slow, but it's coming together. You know, it, it takes time and, um, you just got to keep plugging away at it day by day. It's one day at a time, just like with anything else, you know? So, but that's, that's where I am with that. And, uh, I wish things could be different, but, um, you know, things are the way that they are. And sometimes you just have to roll with the punches. So that's what I'm doing. All right. Well, I just wanted to update you on that so you know what is happening or not happening with that at the moment. And um, if it turns out that I do need to revisit this, and I will let you guys know. Alrighty. Um, thank you for listening. I love you all. Please take care of yourselves. Love each other. Love yourselves. Love everybody. Show kindness. And uh, as always, peace and love. And I will. Oh, I love you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.